Tuesday, 326 1997 10 22 p.m. It's late. I need to leave. This way. Day, 326, 1997, 1135 p.m. Collect garbage bags from the marked point. Okay, like in my truck or no? Um, just by hand? Whoa. It's a lot of trash to be uh, carrying by hand. Got it. Throw the trash into the truck and go to the next area. Will do. Yeah. Beautiful. How do I? Can I? Can I get out? Are we here? <gasps> We're here. Wait. Oh, there we go. City or suburb or country, which do you prefer to live in? I am not a city person. Fun fact, let's go. circle this way. Um, fun fact, I also think my shift key is broken. <laughs> and I'm wearing the cheapest earbuds imaginable. <laughs> so, what the heck? Okay. Next up. Oh shit! Oh, I'm so sorry. I crashed into your trash can. Turn! Good. Oh. 
Always be aware of your surroundings. Okay. Where to now? Oh, here we go. Circle this way. Ah, what did I get stuck on? Areas right here. Oh, that's this one all the way out here in front of the boarded up house. This house it gets scarier and scarier. This must not be an uh, HOA situation. <laughs> oh no. I can still get it. Bring. Go to the bright spot. <laughs> she just said go to the creepy house. This is the home of the famous serial killer known as Knife Ripper. It's quite scary. Without a doubt, the most cruel killer who ever lived. He tortured his victims before killing them, but he did this for days, keeping the person alive and being tortured in the worst possible ways. His trademark was to remove the skin from the victim's face placing it on his own face like a mask, thus bringing extreme physical and psychological torture. After some complaints from neighbors, the police came to the killer's house to search. The scene that the police witnessed was horrible. The sergeant described the episode as hell on humanity. The killer was identified as Joseph Johnson, a 42-year-old man with no family. He was never captured and remains number one on the United States most wanted list. This happened nine years ago. He was never seen again. Some say they see him wandering around and that's why no one ever dared to enter the house. This is my opportunity to take exclusive photos of the house and try my career as a photographer. I just need photos that no one has the courage to take. I'm tired of picking up other people's trash. Good thing I brought my camera in the truck. Let's go. Oh, heck yeah. New job, who dis? Other side. And, oh my god. I can't. Oh, I got it. Take photo, hold a name. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got this. How do I get in? It looks like part of the fence is loose. Where? Here. Crime scene. Ding, ding. No, it wasn't good. Hey, excuse me? That was an amazing photo. Let me in. Let me inside. Uh, let me inside. Maybe I can get through the crap. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're in. No, it wasn't good. But I'm in the garage. There are still blood marks on the floor. That's incredible. This... But it wasn't good. But it wasn't good. Okay. Oh. Ah! Oh, shit. Madeline's body was found in this room. She was a child of just seven years old. She had been missing for seven months. The rest of it went by too fast, and I was unable to read it. All right. Let's go. Good photo. The killer's bedroom. This is the bathtub that just... Several dismembered bodies were found. Good photo. What? The worst room in the house. What do you mean it's not good? It's literally bloody tools in the worst room of the house. What are you talking about? <sighs> Those were beautiful pictures. The stove where he cooked his victim's body to eat. Good photo. Seriously, why can't I take a picture of this room? I feel like the blood was the other thing that was said. There we go. Okay, now I'm going home to look at the photos. This energy, the energy in this place is terrible. Jerome? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing in here? All right, man. I was just taking some photos. Photography is my hobby. Aren't you afraid of the killer? He's still out there. No one ever caught him. I just wanted to take some photos of the house. Do you live in the neighborhood? No, I live far from here. I come here all the time. I like morbid places. Smoke a joint and drink. How about we smoke, bro? No, thanks. I'm leaving for home now. I finished my work. Have a good night, and if you want any advice, keep working as a garbage man. Photography will end up killing you. <gasps> Dang it. This guy must be crazy. This time of night, and he's, a, he's in a serial killer's house? He just left the truck running the whole time. What a waste of gas. Wednesday, 3 27, 1997, 2 35 a.m. Finally home. Home sweet home. I'm going to reveal these photos. Here's my dark room. Did I get some good ones? Wednesday, 327, 1997, 3 a.m.
I'm going to bed. Tomorrow the photo should be clear. All right. Off to bed we go. Huh? Wednesday, three twenty seven, nineteen ninety seven, nine AM. Good day. I'll see if my photos turned out any good. The photos turned out great. Sometimes I think I'm crazy. Oh yeah. I didn't take these photos. What is this? What? Where are the photos I took? Oh, here they are. Yes, 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 yes. I'm a great photographer. I don't know why I work as a garbage man. Seriously. Uh Oh no. How do you know where I live? Good morning. We met last night in that abandoned house. Good morning. Yes, I remember. How did you find me? Oh, there's an ad in the paper. You're a photographer, right? Yes, I do some odd jobs as a photographer. Do you need anything? I was the one who hired you to take photos of the famous serial killer's abandoned house. Are you Jerome? Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? I'm a discreet man. Are my photos ready yet? Could you hand it over to me? Yes, they're ready. I'll get them for you. I don't trust you, Jerome. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Where's my money, Jerome? Wow, you're very good at this. Do you like the photos? I took them as you asked me over the phone. The most morbid parts of the house. I loved the photos. It may seem strange, but I like morbid things. I'm glad you liked it. If you need any further assistance. I'm glad you liked it. If you need any further services, just give me a call. I would actually like more photos. I'm fascinated by the story of Knife Ripper. I would like more photos of the house. Right. I can take more photos now. I'm just going to work at dawn as the garbage collector. Now? No. I want these photos at dawn. To give it a more sinister look. Please take, to Please take some photos of the outside of the house, too. Okay, no problem. Tomorrow your photos will be ready. Bye, Jerome. I'm gonna watch some television. The newspaper has already, the, the newspaper has already started. The news? The body of a 19-year-old girl was found inside a dumpster this morning. A homeless man found the body and immediately called the police. Police continue to investigate the crime scene. A young woman was tortured before she died. Her eyes and vices were torn out of her body. At the moment, the police only have one suspect the famous serial killer Knife Ripper. Because there was still a knife stuck in the victim's skull, of course. I thought I would never witness a horror scene like that again. Such a brutal killer is still out there. Is Knife Ripper really back? 
after being missing for nine years? Or is some other lunatic taking inspiration from him? His description is of a 39-year-old man. He uses the skin from his victim's, victim's face as a mask and always attacks using knives. Police are offering a $5,000 reward for any information on the killer. Be careful when walking through the city streets at night. May God protect us all. Uh, is it time to go to work? I'm going to sleep. The work will be... The work in the morning will be long. Um, Thursday, 3-28-1997, a.m. I need to go to work. I hate this shit. I think that's the uh, serial killer apartment. <laughs> the other game, one of the other games they've done. Thursday, 3 28 2 20 a.m. I've done my job. Now let's go take more photos. I confess that this time I'm scared. What the hell? Oh, here it is. All right, photos of the outside of the house, too. Good photo. How many outs? How many outside do I need to take? Let's take a photo of the back of the house, too. Yes, yes. Good photo. Or a knife ripper? Got him. Dual knives? Just one more photo, and I'll leave. I'm tired. One more photo of where? freezer he kept 
body parts for food. Thursday, 328-1997, a.m. I'm going to reveal the photos and go to sleep. They should be ready tomorrow morning. We're developing the film. Thursday, 328-1997, 8.30am. Oh my god. I thought that was the shower. It is a rainy day. How did my photos turn out? Uh, amazing, of course. I don't have a shower. Sad. Jerome? Hey, Jerome. Good morning, Joseph. I hope my photos are ready. Good morning, yes, they are. Uh, what is your real objective with these photos? I already said I like morbid things, and the knife ripper is still out there. I want to meet him one day. Tell him how much I admire his story. Are you crazy? He would kill you. He kills everyone who gets in his way. I don't care. My life isn't that interesting. At least I would be in the newspaper. Your photos are on the table. Come in. I'll get you something to drink. I have a job offer. Oh, thanks, friend. If we find the killer, we could have the reward. I heard they're offering 5,000 bucks to whoever finds him. Yes, we can do this together. Come on. You can sit in the armchair. I'll get you a beer. I... Mm. What the? So you like my work? I'm happy. Yes, you're great. The photos are amazing. We only have one problem. I don't like curious people, Jerome. <laughs> Jerome? Uh. Jerome? Uh. That'll learn ya. <laughs> Our magical box? Our treasure chest? It's our face mask! And our set of knives. We are... Knife, knife Ripper! Ripper. And now it's time to slice up Jer Jerome? Jerome. Get information from Jerome. I knew it was you. I was sure. What do you want from me? Did you think you would hand me over to the police and get money? I'm not going to tell you anything, you damn pig. Ah, oh, you will. He will tell me everything. Yeah! Oh, God. I try to stab him. <laughs> I just... I've got to... I've got to grab my... <laughs> Torture! Find the leg. 
Okay, a right in the shoulder arm situation. You bastard. I will kill you. You are a monster. You'll kill me. <laughs> you will kill me. Jerome. 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 Look at the situation, buddy. Read the room. Why were you after me? I know it's not for the reward. Fuck you. I won't say anything to you. So let's continue with our game. I got forks for your eyeballs. bitch kill me at once that's not how torture works jerome why are you after me are you from the police no you bastard you killed my brother i swear to god i will kill you oh no revenge your brother blood like a pig let's make this more interesting a chainsaw get information from Jerome. Well, now you've lost a leg. wanted to play with you more seems like it couldn't last much longer right i mean not when you cut the leg all the way there like that's a you're, you're pretty done for <laughs> whoopsie doodle um clean up time maybe no okay um jerome <laughs> damn i didn't expect this one I can't, I can't dodge it. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch. Jerome, Jerome, we can talk about this. Jerome. Jer Ain't no way. First, you were tied up. Second, you had a uh and a uh and a. So how? How, Jerome? How? A wooden leg, money, and a gun. Oh, he got that five grand. He got that five grand for killing me. Jerome. Some a bitch. And he took my skin mask? He killed me to be me. Yes, Jerome. Oh, oh! Sick! Sick! I love it. 616 Games. Did it again. It was a slow start. A little bit of a slow burn. But when we got there, we got there.